Today I'm driving one of the first self-driving cars available, and it's actually the 2016 Volvo XC90. Look ma, no hands. For 2016, the XC90 is available with a system that Volvo calls Pilot Assist. This builds on the radar adaptive cruise control system that's been available in Volvo models for some time, and it combines the ability to steer the vehicle with that radar adaptive cruise control that is full speed range. There are a few requirements for using this system. First off, the speed has to be below 30 miles an hour for the system to operate, and below 25 miles per hour for it to engage. You also have to have your seat belt on in the driver's seat. In addition, the Volvo needs to be able to read the lane lines on the road because it's using a radar sensor and a camera system to determine where the vehicle is in relation to the traffic on the road around you. If the vehicle loses track of the lane lines, it will tell you that you need to take over. Also, because Volvo is concerned about people not paying enough attention out on the road when they're using this system, you do occasionally have to touch the steering wheel in order for the system to stay active. It's interesting because this system has a very, very sensitive steering wheel sensor, and it really knows when you barely just touch the steering wheel. All you have to do is wiggle the steering wheel like that with one finger. That's enough to keep the system active. It will remind you to do that regularly on that screen. Now, this system is not George Jetson's self-driving car yet, and it's also not the Google self-driving car or those other self-driving cars we're seeing out there because this system takes a very cautious approach to practically everything out here on the road. If the lane lines are a little bit lighter than what we're seeing right here on the left side of the road, the system will give up on us. It also, of course, requires that you apply steering every now and then. In fact, on this freeway, it does give up frequently because it can't really detect that lane line. It is a little bit worn. For instance, right now, the system is not detecting enough contrast between the lines on the road, so it won't re-engage itself. Now, there are a few considerations with a system like this. The first one, of course, is the speed, because the system will only go up to about 30 miles an hour, and that's exactly what the traffic is going right now. So notice the distance between myself and that Prius in front of me is actually growing because it's going a little bit faster than 30 miles an hour. Now, as long as traffic slows down again, I'm not going to be holding up traffic, but if the traffic sped up beyond that, then I would be holding up traffic because this will just hang out right there at 30 miles an hour until it gives up because it can't detect enough surroundings, enough lane lines, enough cars around you, etc. to continue. The other thing, of course, is this is not going to work in residential areas. It's not going to steer you around a corner. It's not going to take you to a destination entered in the navigation system or anything along those lines. In fact, often with slow and go speeds like we're seeing right here, I find it easier to just steer yourself and use Volvo's excellent radar cruise control system because this is probably one of the most natural radar cruise controls available. And this will take you up to about 100 miles an hour or so with the radar cruise control. You can adjust the following distance right here on the steering wheel and it does interact with traffic very naturally. It just doesn't do the steering for you. Now, if you are using the radar cruise control and you want to switch over to the pilot assist system, it's very easy, actually. We're still using the radar cruise control. It's doing all the pedals for me and not touching the pedals at all. I can just click that control over on the steering wheel and it will enter pilot assist mode where it will start to do the steering for me. If I turn on my turn signal like I just did, the system will override the steering, but it won't override the cruise control functionality. So it will still maintain the distance between myself and the car in front of me, but I'm responsible for steering the car into the next lane line. Now Volvo's pilot assist system is very similar to what we see in certain BMW models. They're both low speed follow systems. This is not like Tesla's autopilot, which has been a little bit late to market. And Volvo actually beat the Tesla system to availability in the United States. The Tesla system seems to be a little bit more adventurous. It's more of a high speed follow system with lane keep assistance as well as lane change features. It still has the same general limitations, however. If the vehicle can't see the lane lines around you, then it won't really function. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. If you want to see the complete review on the 2016 Volvo XC90, you'll find that one on my channel as well. There'll be actually a little link down there at the bottom of this video, so you can click on over to that, and I'll see you next week.